And our theme for this year's Congress is collaborate. And I want to be real clear about that because we, you are the ones that have gotten this done over the years. You are the ones that have made a difference in every one of your centers taking care of our patients with heart disease. And it is to you that we owe this credit. We've come a long way, but we're going a lot longer yet. You know, when I look around the country and see what people are doing, and I look at the themes of all the talks that we're going to hear in the next two days, three things kind of come out. How do you become successful? What do we need to do? And I'm going to very, very quickly talk about three things. The first is embracing this data transparency. And are you and your organizations doing that? You know, we're seeing more data, public data. It's out there everywhere. CMS, you can look at your own data. You can look at your competitor. Your competitor can look at yours, and your patients can look at both. Is that going to change how we're doing medicine? You bet it will. Is that going to change who our competitors are? You bet it will. You know, historically in hospitals, we know our competitor. It's the person next door, the hospital next door. It's going to be either them or us. Well, what if you read in public data, you need a procedure, you need an elective procedure, and the results are better in a hospital three hours away. Would you be willing to make that drive? Most of us will. What if it's in other side of the country, but it's the best results in the whole country? Would you be willing to do it? Yes. Data is changing who our competitors are. Data is changing what we're doing. And you know what? Transparency has done more for quality since antibiotics. That's how important this stuff is. Does your organization embrace that data transparency? Secondly, are we implementing best practices? You're going to hear tons of them in the next couple days, but are we really doing it? I want to challenge you. Our problem is not lack of knowledge. It's lack of implementation. Are we executing? When I speak to boards across the country, board members are wonderful people dedicated to their organization. They're rarely doctors, rarely even in healthcare, yet they are responsible for the health of our system. That's scary. I say to board members, you know what? You don't have to know how to treat a STEMI. They don't even know what a STEMI is, but you do want to make sure of one thing. You want to make sure that the folks that are know what they're doing. I ask board members one question and one question alone about quality. And if they can answer it, they can sleep well. I challenge the boards to talk to our CEOs, talk to our medical staff, talk to our nurses, and ask them one simple question. Are we implementing best practices in every service line that we offer where they're available? And if the answer is yes, even if I'm a banker or a rock star or whatever, I can sleep well. Fortunately, I'm neither. And then finally, are we excelling in this pay for performance? You know, every hospital I went to on that whole list, their goal is to be in the top 10%, and I think that's wonderful. But guess what, folks? Last I checked, only 10% of them are going to make it into the top 10%. How do we get your organization there? So you're going to learn about all three of these. It's going to be inter